going to take the fine silver and melt it in our furnace. Um, then we're going to extrude it uh, into a strip, which we then blank. And so at that point, it becomes round like a like an actual one ounce silver medallion. Um, and then it will be burnished, and then it'll, we'll actually be able to strike it. Ah, we melt silver. Yeah. Well, the silver turns into liquid at about 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's got to be above that, obviously, so closer to 2,000. They've got to make sure that it's hot enough that it doesn't start to solidify before they get it poured in here. Just make sure the level, the heat level is good. That way it's not too cold. It can't be too hot. Or also, if it's too cold or too hot, it won't pour good. One of those pellets is approximately 810 ounces. It starts with the billet loader and it comes up into the heater. In the heater, it heats up and then I drop it down onto my ramp, which slides right into my kitty. Right where the kitty is, I put a plug right behind the billet, and then I start my machine. When it starts, this container closes, the kitty will raise up, and the stem will push it forward. And then as it's pushing it forward, it's going to squeeze it out. Fans underneath it to kind of cool it. After it gets cooled a little bit, we'll pull it over to the tables, the silver tables off to the side here, to where it'll continue to cool. And then we'll have another crew down at the other end that'll pull it down across the table, to where they pull it over to the, uh, the chop saw, where they cut it in certain lengths. Normally, what we do when it comes out, if we we check along along the top side just to make sure that there's no big scratches or anything. Same with on the back side. So here what we got is he's blanking out for 39 millimeter or uh, one ounce rounds. That's what's happening here. taking the strip of silver, it's been rolled down to the appropriate thickness, and I'm just putting it into this slot right here, bending the end down, blanking it, and the motor's just pressing those round punches down, and putting them out, and each one of those is going to be an ounce, and then we got the conveyor to bring it out so it doesn't jam it up and explode when we're doing it. Our tolerance, um, since there's 10 right here, it's 0.3. That's like the most will go, and that means that it's three hundredths over. And then our minimum is, of course, 10 even. We don't go any lower than that. It looks like we have one ounce rounds in here. Yes, we do. About 39 millimeter are one ounce rounds. Already, it looks great. Uh, the little beads are actually the polishing media. They're, uh, they use a six millimeter ball and they call these a, a satellite. The satellites rub the media and, and by deburring, smoothing the media makes it shiny. They'll use these engraving tools, various sizes, and, and just get in there and in engrave out. They'll make a line pattern on a pantograph and then they'll take that and just put it on their bench and just dig out the steel on the mountains. 
and then they'll make a pattern for the text. Basically, we're doing a uh, Boolean strike. Uh, we're taking a blank, silver blank, and then with our die that we have, we are making something that looks like that. <laughs> 